yes so in this tutorial what we are going to see is that how inter process communication works or how bounded services works right and for that suggested way by android is aidl android interface definition language aidl right we are going to see how aidl actually works right okay first we are going to create aidl server i have created few files over here i'll show you see aidl server i have created one project module right which has given me this thing now into the main right into the main you will find some new folder which is aidl into that you will find one package com.aidl.common and you would be getting this aidl file very soon we will update this file right this is simple dot aidl file with the extension dot aidl okay how i have i have created that just right click on the source new can you see this aidl and aidl file right here you can name it right here you can name it so you would be getting this folder over here under that this package afterwards you can rename the package that's fine right it would be coming with the default package but you can change it right what we are what we are trying to do exactly over here right what we are trying to do exactly over here two applications will communicate with each other right what this one application is there into that one service is running and another application is there this application will try to access services one service which is running inside this so consider that this is nothing but one service this service is running inside this app right i can name it as aidl server so this can be aidl server so aidl is nothing but the android interface definition language actually interface definition language is very traditional term right if two processes is going to communicate via interface right then it 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 is called as interface definition language and it is implemented in android that's why it is called as aidl android interface definition language aidl client will have something called as aidl client over here aidl server aidl client and in this process in this app my one what you can say service is running and i'm trying to access this service in my app one service is running i'm trying to access this service over here from this application right consider that that service might be doing anything like calculation simple will will keep it very simple right already it is confusing bit confusing if you are not a java developer and if you have not worked with the rmi it might confuse you little bit right but don't worry i'll try to explain it in very much simpler way right okay now here you can see in the server right in the server we already have the interface aidl make sure that it is a interface definition language what is that interface definition language both would be having common interface means both would be having separate instances right but both would be having exactly same interface this would be the interface this would be the interface right i can call this thing as interface might be i common presently in our case i have given the name it as i common right i have given given the name it as i common i common name of this interface is nothing but what i common and similarly name of this interface would be i common exactly same so you are going to write the aidl interface client and server would be having the same copy of the interfaces same copy exactly same and that's what we did we created the client already client is also having same interface in the aidl folder and uh, server is also having same interface in the aidl folder 
can you see that okay client will explain in the next tutorial don't worry now once you create the AI ideal file what I'm saying once you create the AI ideal file kindly clean the project once you create the AI ideal file kindly clean the project after cleaning this right what we'll do is that let's try to do something different implementation over here so I would be having say int I would be having some int over here and say calc I'm going to calculate it what I'm trying to do is that I'm going to calculate something or calculate so here you can pass int num1 and int num2 int num1 and int num2 right same method should be inside client can you see I'll go to the client right in the main in the AIDL and the AIDL file you can have dicto copy of this thing right in the client as well as the server so both are having common interface both these applications would have common interface okay now after what I'm saying after creating the AIDL interface right let me clean once again I have what you can say I have made some changes in this file I need to clean this once again so it's indexing that's why it is not allowing me to clean okay now what would be having Android will create one stub file for you from this interface Android will create one stub file so there would be stub one stub would be getting created over here what I can say one stub would be getting created over here another stub would be getting created over here and there would be communication between this stub to stub right there is a communication between stub to stub which is going to keep the environment same marshalling and the unmarshalling is a very familiar term in the RMI if you have work with the RMI marshalling and unmarshalling consider that RMI works in between the JVMs right RMI works in between two JVMs but this is in the same mobile this is going to happen in the same mobile but two different applications so this application client is trying to access this service over here okay so how it is going to create the stub let's see now in the server go to the source go to the main right then you can say build you can say generated you can go to the source if you can see the AIDL if you can see this debug under the debug I common is there and this stub is generated by the Android so it has created one interface public interface I common I common which is extending the I I I interface see which is extending what I interface the base class for the binder interfaces when defining a new interface you must derive it from I interface if you have one interface which is a common to the client or which is common to two apps then you are going to extend it to this okay about this see what they are saying this file is auto generated and do not modify right then do not modify see I common is extending to the I interface make sure that if your interface is a bridge between two applications what I'm saying if your interface is a bridge between the two applications right then your interface must extend I interface you don't need to worry about this thing Android is going to do this thing on behalf of you right it is going to read your AIDL file and from that AIDL file it will generate one interface which is extending to the I interface that's it okay then to this interface there is one inner class abstract class stub stub is extending binder and implementing your interface can you see this thing your stub is implementing to the I common and extending to the binder extending to the binder class see binder class what is this a base class for 
रिमोटेबल ऑब्जेक्ट बेस क्लास फॉर रिमोटेबल ऑब्जेक्ट दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इज द रिमोट ऑब्जेक्ट सो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट आई कॉमन वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट वन क्लास ओवर हियर इन साइड दिस सर्विस वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट वन क्लास इन साइड दिस सर्विस राइट विच वुड बी इम्प्लीमेंटिंग विच वुड बी इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दिस आई कॉमन एंड दिस इज द रिमोटेबल ऑब्जेक्ट दिस ऑब्जेक्ट वी आर ट्राइंग टू एक्सेस इन साइड द क्लाइंट वाया दिस कॉमन इंटरफेस सो देर वुड बी वन सर्विस right inside that service you would be creating one object which is implementing the i common and this object is called as remotable object see this what they are saying base class for remotable object the core part of rpc in the android this class is implementation of the i binder right this class is an implementation of i binder that provides standard local implementation of the such object see most of the developers will not implement this class directly means you cannot create my class extends binder right most developers will not implement this class directly instead using the ai dl to describe the desired interface means this is the typical way of working with the inter process communication and the ai dl some of the people what some of the people does they create their own class say my binder and they try to extend binder manually so here we are trying to do or here we are asking android utility to create binder for us and that is the typical and the recommended way to work with okay see binder is implementing what i binder can you see this thing binder is typically implementing what i binder base interface for the remotable objects okay now you will come to know what i am saying now here what i am trying to do is that i am going to create one service over here right now ai dl server inside ai dl server i am going to create one service see main java java and here what i am trying to do is that i am going to create one service can you see service this my service and say finish right you have created one service over here now what we are not going to use what you can say on create method over here so i am going to create see private i said i am going to create one my implementation object which would be extending or implementing to the i common see now class my impl which is going to extend stub can you see com dot code cool dot common dot i common inner class of this right and you have seen i common extends i interface stub extends binder and implements your interface that you created stub extends binder right binder implements i binder remember that binder implements i binder stub extends binder implements your interface binder implements i binder now if i try to implement all the methods that would be your only one method which is nothing but the calculate why because stub is extending binder binder is implementing i binder right stub extending binder and implementing your interface which is nothing but the i common and that's why only one method is what you can say unimplemented which is nothing but this you can say num1 plus num2 simple i am not going to make it more complex because still i have added more complexity over here okay at the class level what i would be doing i would be creating one object see my impl my impl impl is equals to new my impl and from here i am going to return the impl can you see this thing impl is the stub stub is the binder binder 
is the eye binder and that's why this relation is true here stub is the binder binder is the i binder and that's why i can return object of i binder as a impl over here now i'm going to grab this object at the client side so what we did in the server you just created very simple you just created you just created one AIDL file, right? From AIDL file, Android utility has created one stub, right? And that stub you have used in your application like this. That stub you have used in your application like this. Make sure that you don't need activity over here. You are interested in this my IMPL object. You don't need activity over here. Services are the faceless component, okay? But in addition to that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write a typical intent filter over here to access because inter-application communication is there, right? I need to write action over here. Action, you can say name and com dot code cool dot, right? Service com dot code cool dot service dot AI DL. Any action I'm writing over here and just for the category I can say name default right I can say this as default one right category as the default one remember that you have created right you have created this thing now you have created the service you have created the implementation object you have returned the implementation object and this is the implementation object now the thing is remaining just run your AIDL server, right? Run your AIDL server and keep it as it is. Run your AIDL server and keep it as it is. I'm running now AIDL server and that's it in the mobile. So you don't need to worry about other thing, what's happening. Just run this in the mobile and keep as it is. In the next tutorial, we are going to see how to write AIDL client how you are going to get benefit of writing AIDL client, right? Okay.